Welcome to our little tour of Hummel Park. We're going to go in the south entrance and come out the north. But anyway, you wouldn't believe this place. Hummel Park is located in North Omaha. There's 202 acres of land that was donated to the city of Omaha in 1930. The park was named after Joseph B. Hummel a longtime superintendent of Omaha's Parks and Recreations Department. An area on the eastern edge of the park is known as Devil's Slide because of the number of suicides that have taken place there. If you look at the trees, you'll notice how they tend to like lean over the road. Well, there's a story that back in the 1900s, early 1900s, local racist lynch mobs were rampant and they would take black men and black women out to this area and hang them. Now, I've never seen any, but there's stories I've heard of people driving through the park at night and actually seeing bodies hanging now, from the trees. There's been rumors of people hearing uh, cries and screams coming from the park late at night. Well, I can only vouch for one time that I heard like a woman screaming. I was up at the top of the hill uh, just kind of poking around. I was up there with a the girl and kind of hanging out and we heard this woman screaming and it sounded like she was really close to us and well we got the hell out of there When I was in high school, we used to come down here to the park all the time, especially at night to hang around. And uh, one time, we left the park at the north exit. And uh, while we were heading down the highway, we heard a motorcycle and we saw this light coming off the top of Devil's Slide. I should have taken a picture of the damn thing for you, but I didn't. But the light, it come flying off the top of Devil's Slide and crashed into the pavement. <laughs> this is the pavilion. It looks like a nice and quiet, peaceful place to have a picnic. But in reality, it's pretty active up there during the day, even though quite a few people do go there. On this side of the pavilion, you know, you get this feeling like you're being watched, okay? And it comes from within the shelter. Once you go into the shelter, this is what it looks like. Now, the funny thing about this is, this picture here is as clear as a bell. But this next picture it's all blurred out. Why? Because there was something right next to me when I took that picture. Now, out there in the play area, the playground, you go out there during the day, you can feel something out there, but you don't quite know what it is. Now, <clears throat> several times I've been to Hummel Park, and this swing set here, one time I was there and the swing was swinging and it was swinging pretty good. And the weird thing about it is there was no real wind to move it. And as I started walking up to it, it stopped. 
Okay, let's move on down the road. We've got a long way to go through this park. I'll tell you, there's a lot of bumps and everything around this park, and the roads are curvy and windy as all hell. At night, oh my god, is it dark in this place. You can't see your hand in front of your face. Down here at the corner, you got two options. If you turn right, you leave the park. If you turn left, then you go further back into the park. And I'll tell you what, there's some nasty stuff back there. Right up here on the left hand side is where they got their day camp. It's uh, a bunch of local kids that come out here and they play games and they learn different tasks and you know different crafts and stuff. We're going to head up this road here. It's a back road. It's a dead end. But this is the number one dumping spot for bodies. And I'll tell you what, there's been a lot of bodies dumped up here. I apologize for the glare windshield, but there's nothing I can do to help it. If you take a left here, you end up going up to somebody's house. You gotta stay to the right through this whole thing. I'm going to take you up here where the number one body dumping spot is. You can see the barricades to the right. I'm going to have to uh, pull up to them and back up some. But down here is where they usually dump bodies. There's been quite a few dumped down here. But there's mainly two that are well known.
here's a picture of the barricades that I took so you can get a better look at them. You don't have to try to see them through the windshield. I'll tell you about two of the murders that occurred down here. Both of them are pretty well known. In 1983, a prostitute by the name of LaRue Lapointe was sexually assaulted, then robbed of $25 by four other prostitutes. She was beaten to death with a six-foot tree limb and a softball bat, and her body was discovered down here in a largely and heavily wooded area. On November 29, 2005, a 12-year-old black girl from Omaha named Amber Harris went missing when she got off the bus on her way home from school. The young girl's body wasn't found until May of 2006 after the police received some information from an undisclosed source. It's amazing what EVP can do. A 55-year-old black male by the name of Roy Ellis was arrested, charged with the young girl's murder. He was convicted and sentenced to death. Well, let's turn around and head back down out of the park. Before we leave the park, I almost forgot, let's stop off at the Morphin Stairs. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about the Morphin Stairs when we get there. But there was also another murder that took place in the same area. Well, we're going back by the day camp. When you go through here, you gotta be very careful because a lot of times kids don't look and they run right out into the street. Okay, we'll turn right here and we'll go up the Morphin Stairs. This is where the Morphin Stairs start. And what they do is uh, they lead up a steep embankment. And they call it the Morphin Stairs because when people count the stairs going up 
and count the stairs coming back down, they come up with a different count every time. There's another thing odd about this area. There's a kind of like a shelter house with a picnic table and stuff under it. And uh, around the area, there's pentagrams and swastikas spray painted all over. And they believe there's been some occult rituals and devil worshiping going on here because they find all kinds of dead animal carcasses laying around. In 1983, the body of a young woman was found beat to death right here in this area. In 1992, a 15-year-old was killed here following a dispute about a stolen car stereo speaker. In 1998, a teen was beaten and slashed right here in this area. He wrote the names of his attackers on his car with his own blood before staggering off to try to find some help. Is Hummel Park haunted? Undoubtedly. This park is extremely haunted. I have been up here at night and I have seen and heard things you wouldn't believe. Well, I gotta get out of here. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.